I mean, one thing that I've seen on social media around this is Maha celebrating that our Coke products are going to be looking more and more like Europe's without understanding that it's not because it's healthier that we use it in the United States. It's cheaper by design from these U.S. foreign policies of subsidizing massive corn production yes. and uh, imposing tariffs and quotas on imported cane sugar, right? This has made high fructose corn syrup far more affordable option in the United States compared to other countries where these subsidies and protections are far less for high fructose corn syrup. The use of it over the years, I don't think has necessarily been a nutritional one, but it's just the economic and policy choice due to the, the corn production. That and I, you know, if you want it to look like Europe, you know, what you don't see in Europe, you don't see that 20 ounce bottle. <laughs> so part of me just says, okay, like the reason that in Europe, there's not as much consumption is because A, to your point, it, we make it artificially cheap here. And then B, because it's artificially cheap, we sell it in amounts that shouldn't be drunk. So if you want to have like one of those like mini cans or one of the original um, bottles of Coke, okay. Like, and if we sold it in that denomination, you know, people might not drink as much of it. The problem is, is that the, the most common form that's out there is either the can or the 20 ounce bottle, right? And that there is part of the challenge is that we, we, we have portion size challenges here. So whether it's that portion of cane sugar, sweetened Coke, or high fructose corn syrup, sweetened Coke, is still a hell of a lot of sugar that you probably shouldn't be drinking uh, anyway, right? Yeah, and guess what else Europe has is a healthcare system. So, and we are defunding healthcare and research and SNAP benefits. Uh, so you have to take the whole picture into account.